Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. I start in the name of God, the most beneficent and the most merciful, and welcome and greet all of you with the Islamic greeting of Assalamu Alaikum. You may be wondering what is that Arabic phrase? That Arabic phrase translates into "Peace of God be upon you." And I, and I always say one of the commonalities that we have between the Muslims and the Christians. is that we say that even jesus who we consider as a prophet he used to greet his disciples with the greeting of peace be upon you this is documented in the new testament gospel of john chapter 20 verse number 19 and verse number 21 so brother mustafa gave a brief intro about why we are here and thanking the creator and thanking all of you what i would like to do is briefly mention over the essence of ramadan because many of you you may be thinking okay muslims are fasting for 30 days or 29 days uh, you know just they are fasting that's all that some of you may know but you may not know the reason the higher dimension uh, why we fast so brother mustafa he, he recited one passage from the quran chapter 2 verse number 183 so the very first important point is that passage says that all so god is speaking to all the muslims and god is saying that all you who believe fasting has been given to you prescribed to you as it was given to those before you and then the passage continues i will come to that inshallah so the first reason we are fasting is because it's an obligation it's one of the five pillars of islam usually if i have more time i will ask you what are the other pillars <laughs> we don't have that much time i will just mention to you the other pillars the very first pillar is to recite the testimony of faith to say that there is i bear witness there is only one god allah and i bear witness that muhammad is the messenger of allah so to proclaim it is the very first pillar of islam the second pillar of islam is that we do something five times a day what do you think that is we pray five times our fourth prayer is going to come right after sunset The third pillar of Islam is to give charity, obligatory charity to the poor, the needy, and people who are less fortunate. The fourth pillar is what we are doing in this month, which is fasting the whole month. And the fifth pillar is to go once in a life at least for pilgrimage. So, where do you think Muslims go for pilgrimage? Uh, Hawaii, Paris, <laughs> no, <laughs> Mecca, right? We go for Mecca. I have been there. Awesome feeling. So. that's the first reason that we fast the second reason is as i mentioned the prophets of the past they also used to fast so we say that jesus and moses and abraham peace be upon all of them and many more prophets they all used to fast what is what is my evidence for it of course the quran says it we believe in it even the old testament says in the book of exodus chapter 34 verse number 28 that moses was in the state of fasting when he received the 10 commandments yes 40 days of fasting jesus was in a state of fasting for 40 days or so it says in the gospel of matthew chapter 4 verse number 2 so we say we are also following the footsteps of this mighty messengers and this mighty humans the third reason or the third important aspect the essence of uh, fasting is this you know if you ask me this question and you were asked what's your name Sister Wendy was asking, "Okay, how is it fasting all day?" Let me add to it, right? Let me add to it. For me, it is easier 
to fast from the water and the dates and the food and the drinks, that is easy, easier. But fasting is not only fasting away from the food and the water, it's fasting from all the wrong things we are not supposed to be doing anyway. Yes, lying and backbiting and cheating and breaking promises and quarrel, you know, um, being bad to neighbors and disrespecting parents, we are supposed to put them away for the whole month in such a way that they are away for the rest of our lives. Like cutting people off on the highways, right? <laughs> I came from Skokie, by the way, right? People were just really bad drivers all over the place nowadays. <laughs> That's number three. Number four is, fasting is to inculcate all the good things we're supposed to be doing. Respecting and obeying parents, be good to neighbors, uh, charity, being a best student, helping humanity. All the good things we're supposed to be doing, we should be so conscious that they, will, they should become part of our lives, for the rest of our lives. That's number four. Number five is this. You know, all throughout our lives, we just take the blessings and the food for granted. We can open the refrigerator, have so many choices. We can drive up, have so many restaurants and fast food. We just take God's blessing, God's blessings just for granted. But once we are staying away from it the whole day, 16 or so hours, now when we a, yeah, start breaking the fast with the date fruit, it is like, you know, fruit from paradise, <laughs> right? So. So we become more thankful servants to the mighty creator. That's number five. Number six would be this. You know, if I say to you that there is a girl in Syria and she is like really hungry, I can describe her hunger. You may have some empathy for her. But if I show her image to you that she's really hungry going like this, you can have your yeah, empathy may increase. However, when we put ourselves in her shoes, if she has shoes, right? If we put ourselves in her shoes, we can actually feel the hunger that she's going through. So by fasting, we can feel what poor people, millions and billions of them all over the world, what they go through. So it should help us to reach out to them, to open our hearts, our minds, our wallets. So we become better takers of the less needy around us. All right, and number seven is this. The last one, number seven, is this. There are so many medical benefits of fasting. Muslims, we don't fast for the medical benefits, but we fast because we want to please the Creator. But it so happens that there are so humongous health and biological and medical benefits. What are they? First and foremost, uh, fasting helps a person to control their blood sugar. That's one of them, right? Many journals, many articles, many scholarly articles have been written for that. Secondly, if a person has high cholesterol, the LDL, the LDL decreases and the HDL, the good cholesterol, it increases in fasting, right? And many a times we have so many toxins because of all the processed food. When we are fasting, they are, we are letting them go. So our body is like, you know, purifying, it's charging. Uh, spiritually, medically, biologically, psychologically. So if we incorporate all of these seven things, we say that the 30 days, 29 days of fasting, this is a spiritual boot camp for us. <laughs> After the 29 to 30 days, a Muslim should be so much transformed that they should become better humans, better family members, better spouses and better children, and better worshiper of the Creator. So that is the higher, greater purpose of fasting, and that is the essence of Ramadan. Thank you very much. Thank you. So what we will do is, what time is uh, the? 7.30. 7.30, right? So by this time, not only we are not, uh, counting minutes, we are counting seconds, right? <laughs> At this time, what we will do is, we will just uh, take a break, we want everyone here to just to connect with the Creator, just do supplication for themselves, families, and all of humanity. Uh, then at uh, 7.33, uh, we can break the fast with the date fruit. And Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, used to break the fast with the date fruit and used to eat the date fruit in the morning when we start the fasting. So with that, we can supplicate. May God guide and bless all of you. Thanks for coming. Allah is the greatest, Allah is the greatest. Allah.
Allah is the greatest, Allah is the greatest. I bear witness, no other God besides Allah. I bear witness, no other God besides Allah. I bear witness, Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. I bear witness, Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Come to prayer. Come to prayer. Come to your success. Come to your success. Allah is the greatest, Allah is the greatest. There is no other God besides one God, Allah. So after the call for prayer, then we send peace and blessings on Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and yes, other prophets also. So go ahead and enjoy. Uh, Muslims are going to go there in one of the rooms and do our fourth prayer of the day. <laughs>